on the auspicious day of Guru Purnima, I am happy to share with you uh, my favorite uh, tribute to the Guru. Uh, before I do that, for those of you who may not be familiar with uh, the occasion, Purnima, you know, is a full moon day. And uh, on one of the full moon days in the year, generally in the month of July, in India, we observe what is called Guru Purnima. That is uh, a day on which we specially remember the Guru. Of course, we should remember the Guru all the time. That is in our own interest. But on this particular day in the year, we specially remember the Guru with a sense of gratitude. And uh, now I'll give you my favorite tribute to the Guru. Dhyana Moolam Gurur Murti Puja Moolam Padam Mantra Moolam Gurur Vakyam Moksha Moolam Gurur Kripa Dhyana Moolam Gurur Murti That is uh, the essence, the most important thing, the essential of uh, dhyana or meditation or contemplation is uh, the guru's murti or the image. So a picture of the guru, even if it is not in front of you, a picture in your mind. That is what one should meditate upon. And even if your eyes are closed during meditation, that picture is still with you. So the focal point of meditation is uh, the guru's image. And then Puja Moolam Guru Padam. Puja is worship. And uh, similarly, the focal point of uh, worship is the Guru's feet. Prostration in front of the Guru's feet, kissing the Guru's feet, that is the essence of uh, worship. Mantra Moolam Guru Vakyam. That is our mantra is what the Guru has said, the Guru's utterance. Vakya, you know, it's uh, what has been spoken. So what the Guru has spoken is our mantra. That is uh, something, again, which we meditate upon, something that uh, guides us from uh, the darkness of ignorance towards the light of knowledge. And uh, perhaps that is the significance of observing this day on the full moon day, because Guru is the one who guides us from uh, the darkness of ignorance to the light of knowledge. And uh, finally, Moksha Moolam Guru Ripa. That is uh, the most essential thing for Moksha or liberation is uh, the Guru's Ripa or grace. Because no matter how much effort we have put in, no matter, no matter how much we have meditated on the Guru's image and worshipped the Guru's feet and greeted the Guru's utterance as a mantra, still none of these things will be enough to liberate us for that the Guru's grace, that is what we get from the Guru, uh, completely out of proportion to our efforts, that is what will be absolutely essential, the Guru's Ripa. And uh, what is that liberation? Not liberation into some other world where there is no sorrow and misery, but uh, liberation in this very world. That is the most important thing in Sri Aurobindo's and the Mother's teachings. Liberation in this very world from what binds us, what entangles us in this world, our desires and uh, our narrow way of looking at things. So it is uh, this wider view of things which makes our well-being completely independent of external circumstances, makes us completely independent of uh, objects and uh, people and circumstances. And uh, we can be happy irrespective of how much is apparently missing in our life, still get that sense of fullness. Now that is liberation. Because any type of dependence, whether it's on an object or a person or whatever it is, uh, whether it is the type of clothes I wear or whether the type of car I drive or the type of furniture I have, any type of dependence is bondage and not having any of any type of dependence is liberation. So that is liberation in this very world. And uh, for that, the Guru's grace is absolutely important. So let me repeat it once more. Dhyana Moolam Murti 
पूजा मूल गुरोपद मंत्रूल गुरोर्वाक्यम मोक्षमूल गुरो कृपा